The seven wonders of the natural world may have been named too quickly. Wonders like the Grand Canyon and Victoria Falls are certainly big, and anyone who sees them will surely be impressed. But sheer size isn't enough to truly leave a person in awe. There are other places in this world, though, that are far stranger, places that seem almost alien, as if they could only exist on a planet that evolved separately from our own. These are places that scientists have had to struggle just to understand how they ever could have been formed. Places that will truly make you wonder, not just because they're beautiful, but because they seem to follow scientific laws that don't exist anywhere else on Earth. Number 10. Devil's Kettle As far as natural mysteries go, the Devil's Kettle in Minnesota is one of the most intriguing ones. At a particular point along the Brule River, the river's water splits into two. One split continues its course onto the Lake Superior, and the other split, well, we have no clue where it goes. Scientists know it has to end up somewhere, but we don't know where that is. Scientists first tried putting dye into the kettle and waited to see which part of the lake turns up colors. It was a futile effort. Nothing turned up. Next, they decided to try it with ping pong balls. They also vanished without a trace. What the hell is going on? We all know that laws of science dictate that the water has to turn up somewhere. Even if it is being stored underground, there should be markings and it should be traceable. Aliens, parallel universe, glitch in our programming, some Mayan trick? Your guess is as good as mine. Number 9. Hesdalen Lights Residents of Hesdalen Valley, Norway are continually living in a realm of great scientific mystery. Almost every night, lights appear in the sky. They are of bright colors. They dance around, shift shapes, flash unmistakably, and disappear, only to appear the next day during the night. This has been going on for four decades at least. Scientists are perplexed by this mystery. There are theories, though, but none seems to be good enough. Since at least the early 1930s, people have spotted the lights and hypothesized what could be causing them. One theory suggests that the lake is radioactive. The radon rides dust particles, and upon elevations, it decays and produces lights. Another theory suggests that the base of the valley is full of sulfuric acid. Sulfur reacts to the water and produces what scientists call sparks. Hundreds of tests have been performed to pinpoint the exact cause, but to no avail. Number 8. Movile Cave In southeastern Romania, there is a cave that was locked away from the slightest ray of light for 5.5 million years, and that has a completely different atmosphere from the Earth. The cave was discovered by workers looking to set up a power plant. They tested the ground to see if it was a safe place to build and cracked open a pathway that leads into one of the strangest places on Earth. If you descend through the narrow shaft and past a series of tunnels, you enter a chamber with a lake of sulfuric water stinking of rotten eggs. The air there is toxic, filled with hydrogen sulfide, and contaminated with 100 times the surface's level of carbon dioxide. The strangest part, though, is that a whole ecosystem has survived inside it, Researchers have found 33 species inside the cave that don't exist anywhere outside of it. They've adapted to survive in a sulfuric atmosphere, living by feeding off a of foam on top of the stones. Number 7. Lake Karashe The Soviet Union had many nuclear facilities, and most of them were ill-planned and unsafe. Inside one such factory, there is a lake. The lake's water has more radioactive material than anywhere else on Earth. Lake Karashe is so radioactive that you will die within an hour if you stand near it. Soviets dumped nuclear waste into the lake. Their nuclear practices have caused a few problems with the lake in the past. In 1957, an explosion blew the factory apart and the radioactive particles spread more than 23,000 kilometers. The area is more radioactive than Chernobyl. The lake has been covered with concrete to keep these disasters from happening. Still, the entire place is eerily unstable and massively radioactive. Number 6. The Double Tree of Casorzo In the countryside of Piemonte, Italy, there is an unusual sight. There is a cherry tree there that looks, in most respects, just like any other healthy cherry tree, 
except that it happens to be growing directly on top of a mulberry tree. This isn't completely unprecedented. Parasitic trees have grown out of others before, but normally they are small, stunted things that live short lives before falling off. The double tree of Casorzo, though, consists of two fully formed, healthy trees, each spreading its branches five meters across. Nobody quite knows how it happened. The locals believe that a bird may have dropped a cherry seed on top of the mulberry tree. The seed grew roots that pushed through the mulberry tree's hollow trunk and reached all the way to the soil below, letting it survive and grow into a full, healthy tree. Number 5. The Sleeping City of Kalachi The city of Kalachi, Kazakhstan is not Disney's creation. It is as real as it gets. Citizens of Kalachi face a very peculiar epidemic. People just collapse into naps randomly, even while walking on the road. They also report memory loss, fatigue, and hallucinations. The epidemic affects people from all genders and ages. Kazakhstan has even recommended evacuations, but they are no closer to solving the problem. One theory suggests that the residents are facing some kind of radiation poisoning, since the area is near a uranium mine. However, there are flaws in that theory. All the blood tests and other monitoring has turned up zero evidence. Secondly, there is a town which is closer to the mine than Kalachi, and they have reported no such epidemic. Number 4. Circles of Namibia There is an ecological mystery sitting throughout Namibian deserts. There are fields of grass with circles carved in them at regular intervals. The circles are almost perfectly created and can range from 10 to 65 feet in diameter. And by the way, if you are thinking of the movie The Signs, you are not alone. Forget explaining the circles. Scientists are not even sure of the more basic questions, such as, why are there circles? Why not any random shape? Nothing grows in these circle patches. Scientists have come up with various theories and all have been debunked almost immediately. In 2013, Norbert Jurgens, an environmental scientist, said that termites were the cause of the circles. But in 2015, biologist Walter Schinkel tested the hypothesis and disproved it. Number 3. The Hum of Taos A barely audible buzzing sound that you cannot pinpoint can infuriate you. We have all been there when a distant lawnmower or our TV starts making a buzz, and unless and until we don't find where it's coming from, it feels like our brain is eating itself from the inside. Now imagine the pain and frustration of residents of Taos in New Mexico. Since the early 1990s, large numbers of residents of Taos have complained about a constant humming sound. It can be heard all around the town and has driven people nuts. For 20 years, various investigators have tried to locate the hum, but to no success. Some scientists have hypothesized that the town's residents are super hearers who can detect sound that ordinary humans can't. But doesn't that raise more questions than it answers? Number 2. Never-Ending Lightning Storm In western Venezuela, over the Catatumbo River, there is a storm that never ceases. Starting at 7 p.m. every night, lightning crashes over the water for 10 hours every night, 260 nights each year. Nobody knows for sure why it happens. Up until recently, the leading theory was that it had something to do with uranium in the bedrock, although scientists are starting to doubt it. Today, the leading theory is a complicated one. It posits that the shape of the mountains cause warm trade winds to collide with cold air from the Andes. That collision is then fueled by the rapidly evaporating water below and methane from a nearby oil field. Nobody actually knows for sure, though, why it happens. Everything about it is mysterious, including one moment in 2010 when it inexplicably stopped. One day, the storm just died down without explanation and seemed for a while to be over. Then, after six weeks of silence, it sparked up again and has been raging ever since. Number 1. The Boiling River Deep in the Amazon lies a river four miles long and unlike any other on Earth. The Shanae Timpishka is so hot that any animal that steps into it gets boiled alive. When a hapless creature wanders in, the eyes cook first, melting in its skull. Soon the animal is in too much pain to keep swimming to safety. 
Water fills its mouth and lungs, and it is cooked from the inside out. The river gets as hot as 91 degrees Celsius, 196 degrees Fahrenheit. And scientists aren't... There is a certain enjoyment in being completely confused. It's a reason some of us travel, to be baffled, to be surprised, to be shocked, to look around at our foreign surroundings and have absolutely no idea what's going on. This weirdness that you notice while on the road comes in different guises. It can be quirks of culture, or it can be unique attractions. It can be natural, or it can be man-made. In some cases, it can be a complete mystery to even those who claim it as their own. These places are really weird, and they're definitely worth seeing for yourself. Number 10. Mount Roraima If you want me to summarize this whole place in short, I would say a completely different world like that of a popular Hollywood movie, Journey to the Mysterious Island. I mean, it has got everything to be called so. Beside the enormous flat-top mountain, it has a unique ecosystem, which includes various unusual species of plants and animals, along with the waterfalls that are counted amongst the highest of their kinds in the world. Moreover, the mountain is considered to be around 2 billion years old. This beautiful landscape of Mount Roraima has also inspired movies and novels. 2009 Pixar film Up and 1912 Conan Doyle's novel The Lost World are the popular names amongst them. Indeed, one of the most mysterious spots for the daring. Now, would you dare to make a visit to this remote destination? Number 9. Ram Setu Ram Setu, or Rama's Bridge, is a causeway that is created across the sea connecting Pombon Island in Tamil Nadu to Manar Island in Sri Lanka. Scientific studies have determined that the Palk Strait is a natural bridge formed by limestone shoals. However, according to Hindu mythology, it was built by Lord Rama with the help of Vanara, monkey army. He had to construct this bridge to reach Sri Lanka, as his wife Sita was kidnapped and was imprisoned there. Surprisingly, the time of Ramayana, 5000 BCE, and carbon dating analysis of the bridge sync properly. This causeway is visible from an aerial view even to this day. The whole issue of Ram Setu is mysterious, and that makes us talk about it even more. It is said that Rama's bridge was above sea level. Even some historical records suggest that it was walkable till the 15th century. Even the estimated depth is around 3 to 30 feet in the area of this causeway. Even though the Rama's bridge is inside the water, the ships cannot sail on it. The water here is shallow, with the level of depth varying at certain points. Hence, ships from India have to take another roundabout route to reach Sri Lanka. Ramayana mentions that the Setu was constructed with floating stones. Surprisingly, such floating stones are scattered across Ramaswaram even to this day. What do you guys think? Is it man-made? Or is it really constructed by Lord Rama and his monkey army? And if it's man-made, then how do you explain the floating stones? Number 8. Moving Mountain Mountains aren't supposed to move, but a towering mountain of sand is doing just that, traveling at a pace of 20 meters, 66 feet each year. It's not just the massive dunes that move either. According to Tanzania's former president, Jokea Kikwite, a handful of the mountain's sand continued to move even after he transferred it to his car. Standing 10 meters, 33 feet tall, by 100 meters, 330 feet wide, the crescent-shaped mountain of sand changes shape and direction every decade. It once even split in two and traveled in different directions. It's believed to be the product of a volcanic eruption. The Nongorogoro Conservation Area Authority uses beacons to track and predict the mountain's movements. Number 7. Magnetic Hill whether you are an avid traveler or a hardcore rider who loves to explore new trails on a bike, Ladakh in India is the name you will be familiar with. And since this tourist destination has a distinct hype amongst travelers, you must have also heard about the magnetic hills. Known to pull the vehicles, this magnificent hill lies on the way from Srinagar to Leh Highway. Believe it or not, this small stretch of magnetic hill perfectly defines the phenomenon of gravity. To confirm the fact, you can turn off your car, and while on neutral, you will realize that your car is moving without your efforts at the speed of 12.5 miles per hour. However, there are many stories related to Magnetic Hill. Some are superstitious. Interesting, isn't it? Number 6. Sea splits into two. 
Kerala faced a really tough time this year as the city witnessed the heaviest rains which almost submerged the entire city underwater, taking the lives of thousands of people and making them homeless. After the water from the recent floods receded, something amusing happened in one of the cities of Kerala which took everyone by surprise. The locals of Ponani in Kerala's Malapuram witnessed a new island-like structure surfacing along their beach. The narrow sand strip, which is well over half a kilometer long, has literally split the sea into two. This is indeed a natural phenomenon and everyone was surprised to see it. This has really gained a lot of attraction among the locals, as well as the tourists, and people actually visit here to take a long walk on the sand strip. While tourists continue to flock to catch a glimpse of it, authorities have warned that the sand strip could be washed away in the case of a high tide. Even though it was not immediately clear what was behind the formation of the unusual structure, people are still wondering, how did it happen? Well, till the mystery unveils, people are enjoying a walk on this, making it a memorable experience. Number 5. Blood Falls Imagine a snowy mountain having a bloodbath in between. Sounds like something unnatural, right? Well, here you have the blood red waterfall staining the White Taylor Glacier. The blood falls of Antarctica may have been a mystery for quite a while, but is not anymore, thanks to the researchers and glaciologists who said that this occurrence was due to iron oxide, basically rust, which was present in the water. The water which flows from the lake creates this red hue and making it look as if blood is flowing out into the water. Number 4. Kelimutu, Indonesia In the island of Flores in Indonesia, Mount Kelimutu is the set of three pristine lakes in the national park of the same name. These lakes are the result of volcanic eruption and all are different colors, blue, turquoise, and even black. Well, if you are thinking that this is the mystery of the place, then I suggest you hold on. These are one of those colors in which you can expect to see these lakes. Sometimes the color even changes to white or red because of the proximity of each lake to the underlying volcano. However, the change of their hue is unpredictable. Tourists have also seen one of these lakes in dark brown color. Unbelievable, right? Number 3. Floating Islands Lok Tok Lake is not the only largest freshwater lake in northeast India. It is also home to unique floating islands called Fumdis. These circular landmasses are made of vegetation, soil, and organic matter that have been thickened into a solid form. The islands have a spongy surface that feels like a trampoline. Like an iceberg, most of the mass of the Fumdis lies below the water surface. During the dry season, when the water levels drop off, the living roots of the island can reach the lake bed and absorb nutrients. Speckled across this Lok Tok Lake, the several thousand Fumdis and its surrounding waters are vital for irrigation, drinking water, and food supplies. Thus, the lake has been referred to as the lifeline of Manipur State. Thousands of fishermen make their livelihood in the waters, catching about 1,500 tons, 6.6 .6 million pounds of fish every year. Children and illiterate adults also attend a school located on one of the floating islands. Number 2. Superstition Mountain some places have long been thought to be simply no good, cursed, blighted, tainted, whatever you want to call it. Out in the remote badlands of the U.S. state of Arizona, just to the east of the Phoenix metropolitan area, lies a sun-scorched, dried-up, arid moonscape of twisted peaks and sprawling expanse of badlands called the Superstition Mountains, at one time called the Sierra de la Espuma by Spanish settlers. Legend of this place has it a man named Jacob Waltz discovered a giant gold mine in these mountains back in the 19th century. He took the secret location with him to his grave, although there's speculation he may have told one other person on his deathbed. Since then, many expeditions to find the lost Dutchman's gold mine have been launched, but all have proven deadly. Explorers have gone in and never come back out. Some Native Americans also believe the mountain holds the entrance to hell. Number 1. Turkmenistan Gates of Hell The Davarza Crater, Turkmenistan, better known as the Gates of Hell, this eerie cavern in the Karakum Desert has been on fire for more than 40 years. It was discovered in 1971 by Soviet geologists when the ground beneath their drilling rig suddenly collapsed, leaving a 230-foot-wide hole. As the huge crater was filled with potentially poisonous natural gas, the decision was made to set it alight. 
Scientists expected it to burn itself out within a few days, but it didn't. It's been more than 40 years ago, and the fire is still as fierce today as it ever was. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.